Hey, this is Mike. Check it out. A 2015 Chevrolet Corvette Z06. And this one is the this one is the supercharged uh, Corvette basically. And um, so like say the Stingray is the non-supercharged, the Z06 is the supercharged. So I'm super excited to show you this car. And I'm not a Corvette expert, just to let you know right off the bat. I'm going to try to do my best to show it to you. But as far as a lot of the little tech specs, um, I'm probably not the best person to, to, uh, to tell you about that. But you can see it does have the slotted uh, rotors. And the, it has six piston and a four piston uh, caliper system, front and back. Uh, six piston in the front, four piston in the back. For some serious braking power because this thing has 650 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque it is a six-speed manual transmission and here in the front we've got the some LED running lights right there we also have a projector system headlight which is powered by xenon uh, headlights or xenon bulbs But just amazing supercar look of the You see it has the quad exhaust back here in the center. And with the amount of compression this has uh, with the supercharger compressing the, the air going in the engine, it does need the additional high flow exhaust in order to handle all that airflow. See here's the inside of the door. You've got your presets for your seats, your window controls. Uh, that's actually how you open the door here. And then you got your door lock controls. And it does have a Bose premium sound system. There's the Corvette threshold there. There's the seats. Let's go ahead and look in the back. Here's the key. So to open up the back, you just push and hold this. It pops it open. So we can open it up. So you can see the window sticker there. And you do have a pretty good amount of room back here for, for putting stuff. It's not a you know it's not a station wagon or anything like that, but it does um, you know, it's pretty adequate for for most things. All right. See, it's got some buttons here. This is for the HUD heads-up display. You got the side mirror controls there, your dimmer switch there, and so I'm gonna go ahead and get in. It does have the power seat. 
So getting in position in this vehicle for me, I mean it does have a lot of leg room but it is pretty low to the ground. So it's a little bit of a hassle getting in and out of just for me. But once you're in place, uh, once you get in position, it is very comfortable. It's got the, the ventilated seats and the, the heated seats. I'm gonna turn the ventilated seats on. Check out the speedometer. It goes up to 220 miles per hour. You've got the digital readout here in the center. Information display. You got the fuel tank. And you've got the um, you know the, the boost on the uh, supercharger right there, which is pretty cool. Now that's a whole menu system which you can control here. You can kind of scroll through and get their different information for your audio, your phone, your navigation. You can have a display here, there as well. But uh, but that's a that's a pretty neat screen there. Now you also have the heads up display that shows you your speed. You can see right there. It's kind of floating in midair, doesn't it? It reflects off the windshield and gives you a, a readout while you, to keep you keep your eyes on the road and, and focus on your speed. Uh, so uh, that's pretty cool. And I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up well or not, but you can really see it clearly without too dis too much distraction um, with your eyes. Let's see here. That, that that hood system is pretty neat. Now it does have the paddle shifters here um, for rev matching. I'm not 100% on how that works um, with the manual transmission. Maybe you can kind of explain it to me. Um, my understanding with rev matching would be how you um, how you actually drive, but I'm not really sure. If you can explain that to me. Um, I'd, I'd really appreciate it. You do have cruise control on this side. You've got a volume button on that side. Tune through your, your favorites there. It does have a flat section on the bottom of the steering wheel with some carbon fiber here. Then you've got this big touch screen. And it has your, your radio, your phone. Once you pair your phone, you'll have your information there. Uh, the navigation. Um, that's a separate system right here to where you can put in a s particular address. You can zoom in and out, look at the map. You can also have a, a bird's eye view um, or straight down satellite view, I guess you could say. You do have, um, you've got the climate controls down here and your heated seats and cooled seats for the front passengers, which that's all you're going to have here. And I notice. <laughs> It gives you your, your horsepower here on the badge, the Z06 Supercharger 650, 650. That's pretty neat. You don't normally see that. So there's the seven speed. I made a mistake earlier. It is a seven speed manual transmission. Power supply there. You got cup holders. And uh, this is your trash control. You can turn that off. Also, you can select different modes. So, like, say you can select Eco, or you can select Touring sport I don't know if you can see that and then track wow then when you choose track you've got all kinds of uh, cool stuff that pops up here um, you can keep an eye on your your, your rpms you can also uh, have your your times your best time on on, on laps and, and stuff like that that's pretty neat and I noticed the, the the pitch in the engine changed when I changed it to track too so I'm going to change it back to it does have a weather setting too, so I'm going to change it to go here to Eco. Put it on Eco. So there we go. Now this lifts up, and then you've got a little tiny storage space here, I guess for a cell phone or something. But you also have a USB, SD card, and auxiliary inputs for some connectivity to this um, touchscreen radio and the Bose sound system. Your passenger has their own little climate control right here for their um, for their temperature and also their seats um, I guess because you do have this handle here for the passenger to hold on to there and there since they're gonna be hauling tail so fast um, they have to have something to hold on to so they they might not be able to reach the stuff so therefore they have their own little controls check out the rearview mirror it's like edge to edge design it does have the OnStar button and you also have this um, 
emergency button and assistance buttons as well suede headliner much not much of a headliner because this one has the roof uh, panel that you can see out of in and out of so or actually out of it you can't really see in it it's kind of black looking but you can see that roof panel is um, is pretty cool looking you do have some garage door controls up here all right so let's take a look at that engine let's find the hood latch there we go Corvette LT4 says on the engine. Man, that's amazing. All right, there you have it. 2015. Chevrolet Corvette Z06 Supercharged. Thanks for watching. See you next time.